Greetings everyone, future feature film director, the Rookie Critic here, and I'm recording this on Easter Sunday, so I hope that you guys are all at home right now getting fat off of some chocolate eggs, even though we've been in self-quarantine for the last month or so, and I've probably been doing that anyway with other foods, but regardless, I've been watching a lot more YouTube videos, and I've been noticing that some people have short intros and longer intros, like the short ones being like 3 seconds, and the longer ones being all the way up to like 30 or 40 seconds sometimes, and I was curious curious to see if other people prefer to have short ones, they prefer the long ones. I put up a little poll on Twitter and it had around 45 to 50 people that voted on the poll. Around 51% said that they just want to go right to the video, skip the intro, have it be as short as possible or none at all. And around 44% said that either way is fine, which means they probably just care about the content of the video, not just, you know, getting to it as quickly as possible. But I was just kind of thinking about that, because if you're a repeated viewer, you're going to be watching their channel quite a bit, and if you keep on seeing these 30-second long intros on every video that you click on, you'd start to be getting annoyed, I assume. Kind of like when you see the same commercial come on a bunch of times, you're just like, okay, I get it. Can I just get to the content, please? Thank you. As some people are on their phones, and you know, somebody mentioned data to me at one time. They're like, oh, I'd love to watch your videos, but I don't want to you know, keep on watching the videos when you have all these 30 second intros all the time. So and this was a long time ago when I heard that. So I don't know if that still applies to anybody else, or if they've ever had that criticism with their intros, but it just kind of made me think a little bit about you know, what people want to get to. Uh, Geeks and Gamers, for example, they have like a very quick, like two second thing. It just goes, boom, Geeks and Gamers, Psh, done, right to the video, and there you go. Other ones have, you know, sometimes 30 second long ones. I can't think of any off the top of my head other than my own <laughs> at the moment. Uh, I do sometimes have like 20 second intros. Sometimes I have 10 second intros or five second intros. It all kind of depends on the video series and what I can put into it. And I don't know, just what do you guys think about the intros? Because in my mind, the intros are supposed to kind of hype up the viewer. And they're not necessarily there for repeated viewers. They're there for people that have never been on your channel before or have not seen your type of video before that you're doing for whatever type of series you're trying to put out. And I think that the intros kind of help. It helps them sort of get an idea about who you are, like what your level of, you know, intro making is anyway with film even though sometimes people you know will use other people to make the intros for them but it just got me thinking because I put a lot of effort into mine. I have like a dozen intros that I've not even released because I, they ended up not going to a series that I planned on making and I don't know it's kind of fun to make them but I, I am starting to see how people could maybe not want to have these long ass intros. I do think that they add something to the videos, but ultimately they're not necessary. There's plenty of videos that I've uploaded in the last couple months that I didn't even put an intro onto or an outro. I just I was just like, I'll just throw up the video. I don't care. Sometimes the intro includes a call to action, like, you know, remember to like and subscribe. Remember to share the video out with your friends. Click that bell for the notifications. Remember to follow me on Patreon. Follow me on Twitter. Blah, 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 all that stuff. That's sometimes what the intro is. Sometimes you can move that to the outro, though, which I think the outro is more important than the intro, and I think the outro is the best spot to put any of that stuff because that's after the viewer has sat and watched through your whole video. They can get extra info on you if they want. They'll stay if they want to know any of that stuff, usually. I know that uh, a lot of people aren't confident with people staying on your videos, which I understand because I was looking at my own ratios of how long people are actually watching the video. And, you know, on, on the ones that are around five minutes long, uh, the average watch time is around three minutes long. So I don't even know if they continue to watch the whole video or they skip around. I don't know how that works, how that all detects. So I'm trying to learn a little bit here. And I'm just curious, just based on preferences and, you know, because there's obviously... If we're going by algorithm, algorithm would probably say, dish the intros. But other YouTubers would say, nope, keep a very short intro, which is just kind of, just kind of a game here. Like, what... What do we need to do, or what is most likely accepted? Because I'm just thinking about YouTube is sometimes looked at as a TV show for some people. You got your channel that you're going to go and watch and see what episodes they put up, what videos they put up. And on TV shows, they always have their little intros. And I'm glad that they do have the option to skip intros on Netflix now, to be honest, because sometimes... I'm a little annoyed and I want to just get right to the action and I know the theme song or I know what happens in their intro. Let's not waste time here. I'm eating food. I want to be entertained. I don't want to be looking at this minute and a half long intro. So I can understand that sometimes. And But like I said too, 
but also intros can just look cool. So I think I'm going in circles by this point. I think I've made all my points for this. Let me know what you guys think about intros down in the comments below, and have a great rest of your day. Cue the outro. Hello there fellow movie lovers, I am very passionate about film and hope to become a director someday. Right now, I'm working on an 8 episode movie series called The Rookie's Legends, set to release in July of 2020. My GoFundMe, Patreon, and PayPal are in the description below if you wish to support it. You'll see more film centric videos that are not just movie reviews coming very soon guys, and I recommend that everyone go and check out the Fandom Collective YouTube channel and Twitter where we try to help YouTubers unite and rise together. And before before we close out, I do have a P.O. Box if you wish to send me any movies or comics or something. Thank you everyone, and have a great rest of your day.